What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. We're doing a roster review right now on Symbiotic. First of all, I was going to change this shirt because it has green lettering and my chroma key is set for green screen so you know you can't see the stuff behind me. And you can kind of see through me, which I kind of think is cool. So if I end up moving that and you see that, uh, moving up and you see that, that's why you probably won't see much of it, but I just kept it on because I thought that was cool. So we're going to talk about Symbiotic's roster, and he has given me some very, very good notes and information on what he is looking for. So I'm going to read through them quick. I'm currently a bit lost on who I should be using for my arena squad. As you can see now, I have Z-Pulp lead with Ball and Bastila, Scion, Nihilus, and Vader. I just recently got Palpatine. Before, I was using a Nihilus lead with Vader, Scion, Ball and Bastila, and Thrawn. I was really trying to fit Thrawn into my team, but I honestly didn't know who to remove. I was thinking about Bastila, but her stun synergy is so well under Palpatine. I'm also not entirely sure about the mods. I was hoping you could let me know whether they're good enough or not, and if the sets are appropriate for the respective characters. I was wondering if you think I should maybe start building towards a Jedi team. I miss Revan this past time, but I'm about to finish up Kenobi here within the next few raids. I've been dedicating all my resources to farming the new Kotar characters. I was curious what your opinion is on this. Do you think I should probably just put them on hold and farm Jedi, or should I go straight for the new Kotar tunes? I'm really anticipating the new Malak slash Revan, and I'm even willing to drop some money for it. Also, just wondering who you think I should farm next. I'm trying to be a bit more useful in raids. I was thinking Night Sisters, unless you see a better team for me. If you see any immediate things I should Zeta, do let me know. I only have one Zeta, and I was originally going to save it for Darth Revan slash Malak. So, let me quick look at this here. Sorry, I keep getting messages from people. And they're like, what are you doing? Can we come hang out at your apartment? Well, I've had a lot of people there lately, actually. And, you know, most people probably pause the video during this conversation here, but I'm just going to explain to you. They're my buddies, and uh, they want to keep coming over, and they do, which is great. I want them to come over all the time. I enjoy it. They're fun to be around. But there are a few times a day that I actually have to come do some work here <laughs> to make sure I can get some videos filmed. And then they keep asking, um, can we still come over? Well, go over there. My other roommate, Ethan, is there. Um, so you can go over there, but I can't because I have to do this. I promised Symbiotic I would do this, so I'm going to get it done. They can, they're there all the time. They can come over a different time anyway. So let's take a look at his roster first. I have glanced this over, and then we're going to talk about who he should be farming. Since farming is one of the top priorities in the game, let's talk about that first. He said, should he be moving towards a Jedi team? Let's look at the Jedi first, and I've looked at them, but we're just going to make a determination here. <sighs> Don't be working towards Jedi right now. Keep working on your current Sith team, and I'll explain why. When you are going to farm, when you're farming daily with energy, continue farming the newer Old Republic characters. Candorous, Juhani, or I'm sorry, Candorous and Darkseid Bastila. When Juhani and Karth come out, be farming them right away. We're taking a gamble, and we're saying that they're going to be needed for either Darth Revan or Darth Malak, who could be meta-defining. I know Grievous just rework could be very meta-defining. It's awesome. I can't wait to make some videos on it. But we most likely, we know that it's going to be Darth Malak, Darth Revan, or some character that's going to be very useful. So continue farming those characters, because then, see, you, he has only 535,000 galactic power. You're newer to the game. So take this risk now, so you can get, you can jump up a lot further earlier if you make the right gamble. After you're done getting those characters to seven stars, then you can start working on Mission and T3 and Zalbar to get Revan. But uh, the original Revan, the one that was you know last released, wait to get him till the next time around because he's not going to come out for a few more months and focus on characters that you can get right away here. So definitely continue farming with the newer Old Republic characters. That's important. Then if you're talking about a team to farm, besides that, you know, obviously you can go after the Zalbar, the T3, the mission, if you want to have spend some extra energy there. But if we're talking about raids in general, um, helping you farm for raids, definitely Night Sisters. Can't go wrong with Night Sisters if you're going to farm for other aspects of the game because they're going to help you everywhere. So if you're thinking Night Sisters and you want to put some energy into them, go right ahead. Uh, I'd want to get Talzin. Make sure you get Talzin as quickly as possible because she's going to definitely... She takes them to the next level. She's what makes them fantastic. Um, if you're going to struggle to get Talzin, then maybe hold off the Night Sisters and be farming 
every single Old Republic character, but if you're looking to help you in the raids right away, Nice Sisters is fine. Now, I don't know what your crystal intake is if you buy crystals from the store. Also, when you get um, the crystals from the place you get in the arenas every day, but uh, that's what you should probably do with that. So again, keep farming those newer Old Republic tunes and the Night Sisters and then the regular Old Republic tunes at the same time. Don't focus on any other factions right now besides them. We can always say, well, you farm everybody that you can. You know, farm this, farm that. Right now, just farm those characters, the Old Republic characters, the newer ones, like I've said like 100 times, and then the older Old Republic characters, if you can, along with Night Sisters, and I think you're going to be fine. Now let's take a look at your arena team, and I have looked over it before I started the video, and I've made a determination that I think that you should replace Vader with Thrawn. Thrawn being able to fracture is so nice in a match because it can completely take away a dominant character for the other team. Now I'm going to look at, I've looked at your mod some and I'm going to go over them here again in the video. But the biggest thing I know before I get in depth here is you need to be farm. This is what you're going to do with all your mod energy for the next like two months. Speed mods. Speed is the universal set of mods that will work on almost every character if you have speed mods. I mean, you know, when you get like down nitty gritty, you can run an offensive set that has good speed on certain people instead of running a full speed set. But farming speed mod is going to help you everywhere. Because if your characters have good secondary speed, you're going to be able to increase your rank in fleet arena. You're going to do better in grand arena and territory wars and the raids. Speed is the name of the game. That's just what it comes down to. So I know that when we go over these characters, you're like, well, I know Palpatine needs some potency. Yes, he does. But the primary stat you need to be worried about in every mod and every character is speed. So be farming speed mods to make sure you get those speed sets and then get good speed secondaries as well. So we're going to look at Palpatine here. And you have a potency and a speed set on him, which is good. You know what you should be doing. Now let's take a look at the mods themselves. You have no speed in the, in the square. You have 17 speed in the diamond. Well done. No speed in the circle. Three speed in the cross. And you have a primary stat of protection in the cross. If you're struggling with survivability, you can maybe stick with protection in there. But honestly, I think potency would be a major help. Potency or offense are the two I'd want to look at. I like to put a bunch of potency on him to make sure that he lands those debuffs. Um, and some people say, well, it's overkill because you're getting that plus 30% potency the way it is. I don't look at it that way. I just put potency on him, as much potency as possible. And in my opinion, I know you need the speed set, but the plus three, if you put a potency mod on him with a primary st statistic that has no speed, if you're just going to have three speed there because you want to get speed it, speed in the other mods first. You don't want to have, you know, you know what I'm, I'm saying right now. And then you have crit chance in the triangle as a primary. Again, I would... You know, you can put an offense in here if you want. I'd probably suggest offense unless you're struggling with survivability. Then you have the plus three speed. Definitely want to get it better. I understand why you have these two mods here. I do. It's because you're completing the speed set. And I, I really shouldn't even, what I did earlier, I underscored even that, that three speed. Potency is important, so that's why I'm highlighting potency. And, you know, see if you can find any mod you have which has a decent potency or, uh, potency in the primary of the cross with a decent speed and then you have speed in the arrow so again with him offense speed and potency that's what you're looking for when farming your mods you can farm speed mods for him just keep rolling those mods to get good speed in the secondaries and try to get some extra potency in the secondaries as long as off as well as offense in the other secondaries as well so you have the right mindset on the sets to do we just need to get that secondary speed up there you're going to hear me say that a lot throughout the entire video but i want to be thorough and then um, potency in the primary there. Now let's look at Dark Side Bastila. You have her modded with a tenacity set, a potency set, and a health set. The biggest thing with her is going to be potency and speed. And we have no speed in the cross or in the square. I keep saying that. Ten speed in the diamond. Well done. No speed in the circle. You have a potency in the primary of the cross. This is what we're looking for in this situation here. We would just like that extra speed. Then you have 15 speed in the triangle. It's a protection mod, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, you could put offense on there, but the speed is the name of the game because she's going to be, f you want her to make sure she gets that stun, that dark side battle meditation. You want all of that to make sure that that flies around. So again, that's why potency like you have here is so important and why I really don't think this, I think this is a decent mod here because 
the primary stat isn't important as long as you're having that extra speed and then you have speed in the arrow so with her you could actually put a speed set on as well or a full potency set but a speed set and then the two potency mods is good just like you do on palpatine but again speed potency and offense is the name of the game with her you want high numbers in those and that starts by just farming more speed mods in general now we'll look at scion some people mod scion a different way some people mod him as a tank like you do and some people put a speed set on him to get him to like 260 speed which is i've done that before too i actually have sometimes put damage mods on him but you wow plus 23 speed in the cross here that's nice no speed in the diamond 10 speed in the circle wait i want to see was your circle protection nice <laughs> seven speed in the cross and it's a protection mod protection primary i guess i should say offense in the triangle speed in the arrow okay with this right here i honestly don't think that 5.88 offense is going to make that much of a difference some people call me out and will say i'm wrong so maybe put a protection or if you're struggling for survivability put a health or protection mod uh, in the primary stat here if you want and if you have some decent secondary speed you can do that as well otherwise you can leave it it's actually not that bad um but again make that determination yourself and again speed in the secondary speed is the name of the game i know he's your fastest at 201 when i looked earlier um just get those characters faster that's what it comes down to i actually in the set you put on him with that health and defense set that's not bad you're in the right thought process with that let's look at nihilus now nihilus big thing with nihilus is he there to deal damage no because you just want it with his basic his job is to dispel with his drain force it's to increase everybody else's cooldowns and to decrease the cooldown of annihilate um it's not going to do much damage his job is to get to annihilate so does any offensive statistics matter whatsoever on nihilus no you want him to go as many times as possible though so speed in the secondary is big then you have and you have no speed in the diamond uh seven speed in the secondary here again you know the secondary stats i could i could spend hours upon hours upon hours going so in depth on which exact secondary stats i have on each character but to get a good start in the game just knowing a character where it's oh i want this character to do damage then most likely you're going to want it to have almost like 99 percent of the time you're going to want to have speed in the secondary and some offensive statistics like offense crit chance offense percentage that's what you're looking for with an attacker when it comes to a tank obviously you're going to want to want protection defense health if you want a attacker that can be a little more survivable maybe put some protection in the secondaries but just think about what you're using the character for and then mod him based upon that but when you're this earlier in the game I don't care if the only secondary it had, it stat it had it was 15 speed. You'd want to put that over there than a mod that has no speed with four decent other stats. So then we had, yep, seven speed in the circle. Health mod in the cross with plus four speed. Crit damage with 10 speed. Honestly, the crit damage is meaningless for him um, because, again, he's not there to deal damage. The plus 10 speed is what's good, and I can understand why you're doing that. If you want to put this mod on a different character to get a different character faster that also can deal some type of, or is important in dealing damage, you maybe want to switch this somewhere else. But since it's a speed mod and you want to complete the speed set with him, I can understand if you keep it on here. And then you have 30 speed in the arrow as well. His overall speed is 185. You know, okay for where you're at that's actually pretty good because i remember when i was like at 500,000 man i thought like 160 was blazing fast that was earlier in the game but again what's going to help you get him even faster is just farming those speed mods speed 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 and your set on him okay was two by uh, was okay too by the way you had a speed and a tenacity set which tenacity actually is a good idea because you don't want him to be stunned or have a bunch of debuffs now vader this is a character i want to replace with thrawn and you have a crit damage set on him, so you have plus 14 speed in that mod, no speed in that mod, no speed in the circle mod, no speed in the cross, 12 speed in the triangle, and no speed in the arrow. This is okay. These two mods right here, the, the square mod and the triangle mod, find a way to move them onto some different characters in your arena if you can i don't know if you can as long as they still have speed sets 
move those mods over there to get that extra speed in there because that's going to be so important to some of the other characters. I don't think you should be using Vader anyway. Like I said, I think you should take him out for Thrawn. And if, you know, put, put him on Palpatine if you can still get a speed set in there. Uh, probably keep Palpatine the same because of the potency set and the uh, speed set. Just looking at Dark Side Bastila here, you know, you could actually... Well, you could put the you could actually put the cross mod, or the I'm sorry, why do you keep saying the, it's a square mod from Vader that has plus fourteen speed here in the square mod here for Bastila and take out the tenacity mod. Yeah, you might not have a, a synergy there between two tenacity mods, but I actually think that's okay. That plus fourteen speed is going to help tremendously. That's just one option. Um, I like what you did with your Scion here with that, so I wouldn't switch the mods onto him. With the Nihilus, again, you had pretty good you had pretty good speeds here the way it was. So yeah, I'd switch that one mod to to Basila. And then the th uh, the character we want to replace Vader with is Thrawn. Now Thrawn, rule of thumb, you usually want as fast as possible. With where you're at in Arena, I'm not quite sure you know what up great speed is you know i'm used to like 290 300 for thrawn so there's two ways to mod him one you can get him as fast as you possibly can with the mods that you have and i'm guessing with where you're at in arena and where your shards at because i'm guessing all sh your, your shard is the same as everything else um the, the if you have your fastest mods on thrawn it's going to be fat about as fast as the fastest mods on somebody else's thrawn so if you want to mod him with speed, that's what I would suggest. If you mod him to be a little bit more tankier, as long as he can still get a fracture off and get Grand Admiral's command off to swap turn meter and cleanse, you can do that as well. I would suggest speed because fracture is the name of the game here. And you don't have like any speed in the secondaries of these mods here. You have a speed set, but there's no speed in the secondaries. So definitely what you're going to want to do is find some other good speed mods that have speed in the secondaries and put them on Thrawn. Put a speed set on Thrawn with good speed in the secondaries. I know that I say this about almost every character. That's the way it is with almost every character you're using right now. But with Thrawn, he should actually be the fastest. Um, because him going and getting that fracture off is much important. So try to put your best speed mods on Thrawn, get a speed set, and then the other two mods don't matter as long as they have speed in the secondaries. So definitely switch a few of those mods off Vader if they have speed. And then put Thrawn in for Vader because right now the speed on him is 200 which yeah I mean he is a very high base speed set the way it is without mods so try to get him higher you know get him to 220 230 things could drastically even higher things could drastically change and you would go up in your arena rank quite a bit so that is my opinion looking at your arena squad right now replace Vader with Thrawn be farming speed mods that's your sole focus 24 7 365 get faster characters that's going to help you as well so we talked about who to farm I said to continue on with the newer Old Republic characters then the Old Republic characters the Night Sisters and I said do not switch to a Jedi team even when you even if you get General Kenobi your Sith team is just better at the moment and then we talked about the mods which was important we talked about farming Night Sisters first or next potentially like I said if you want to I'll be working on them to help you throughout the raids because Night Sisters are going to help you tremendously in raids. And there are there any immediate things you should Zeta? Well, Palpatine, Dark Side Basila, you have the you have the Zeta on Palpatine. You got his leadership Zeta. Good. His crackling doom isn't as important for where you're at. Nihilus doesn't need a Zeta right now to be great. Not important. Scion. I mean, his Held by Hatred is pretty good if you get that Zeta because it allows him to get to Held by Hatred quicker when you use Torment because the pain's going to stick. Or the, I'm sorry, it's the Lord of Pain that you're going to end up Zeta-ing, and that's going to allow you to get to Held by Hatred quicker. I'm thinking here because I'm going to quick look at your droids and see if Grievous is in the picture for you whatsoever. No, he's not. So I'm actually going to tell you, because it's going to be maybe another month before that new Old Republic character, or Malik or Darth Revan comes out, I'm going to tell you to put a Zeta on Darth Sion. 
I think for where you're at, it's going to help you in Arena tremendously because you're going to be able to get to that Held by Hatred quicker and then he can dominate the match from on there. So please, put that Zeta on Lord of Pain. I keep I don't know if I've said Held, of, Held by Hatred, Lord of Pain. You want to put it on Hel Lord of Pain. Oh my gosh, Lord of Pain. So you can get to Held by Hatred quicker. That's what you want to do. So I'd actually suggest putting that Zeta on him. I think it's going to help you climb in Arena. So then you'll run with Palpatine, Nihilus, Scion, Thrawn, and Dark Side Basila. And I actually think that should be a decent squad and help you climb. So that's what you should do with your next Zeta. You know, overall, you're going in the right direction. As a newer, a newer player here, I mean, this is what's so great about the game is you can go in so many different places and you can start off with getting the new character that comes out, whether it be Darth Revan or Darth Malak. And, you know, planning ahead is what's important to help you stay, to, you know, be good at the game, but also being learned, also learning to be able to uh, accept things as they come at you. Like all of a sudden, like, oh, I thought Darth Malak was coming out next month. He comes out tomorrow all of a sudden. You got to expect the unexpected when it comes to the game, but also have a plan in mind as well. So have some contingencies in place to determine if things are going to go right and stuff like that. So otherwise, you know, it looks pretty darn good. Let me take a look at your ships here right now, actually. And you get 92 in Fleet Arena. And you run the Tarkin lead with TIE Advanced, TIE Fighter, and TIE Silencer. Pretty good squad for where you're at right now, actually. Ghost, let's see, do you have the Phantom at all? You don't have the Phantom yet, which is okay. So keep running with the squad that you're running with in that area. And don't worry about fleet as much right now. Yes, it's great to get crystals, but focus on getting the uh, squad arena rank up there quickly as possible. So, like I said, for where your galactic power is at, pretty good start. Just recapping what I think you should do according to your notes here. I think you should continue farming the newer Old Republic characters. Then farm Night Sisters and or the original Old Republic characters to get Revan. That should be your priority at the moment. I mean, there are so many things, you know, that you need, could be farming the, the people to get JTR, the people to get CLS. But right now, just focus on what you can focus on and be farming those characters. Then you should be switching out Vader with Thrawn and farming a bunch of speed mods to be able to make your team better as a whole and putting a Zeta on Darth Sion. Um, you were very, very um, thorough with your notes, which was great because, you know, there's some things, you know, I'm... We don't need to look at absolutely everything if you don't want. So that's extremely helpful. So I hope I covered everything. If I didn't, definitely message me again so I can make sure to give you the best answer possible. If any other of you guys have questions, make sure you leave comments in the comment section below. Do you think I gave good advice? Did I give bad advice? Are there things that I could do better? Are there things that he should do better that I didn't mention? Make sure you put that down there, uh, down in the comment section below. And the biggest name of this game is the, is the Crystal Acquisition. How many crystals can you get daily to continue to buy energy to farm a bunch of different characters? Because you could be farming, you know, the older public characters, the newer older public characters, and the old older public characters at the same time if you have enough energy to do so. So being able to get higher in the in the arenas is what's going to help you do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, like the video, click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that I post. Also, I'm leaving a link, link to my Discord server and Patreon page in the description below. Make sure to check that out. And as always, leave comments in the comment section, not just about the video, but about other video ideas you guys want to see. I get a lot of my ideas from the comment section below, and that is great. I can't wait to make some videos on the new General Grievous rework that just was announced, and much more to come. Peace out, and may the Force be with you.